Chances are you've never heard of Socket, and if you have, it's for all the wrong reasons. Maligned by many for being nothing more than a Sonic the Hedgehog clone, this 1993 platformer received generally positive reviews before getting sucked into the void of obscurity. While it's not as good as most mascot games, there's one thing that I can say with absolute certainty. Socket has a much better ending than Sonic. Don't believe me? Turn back now if you don't want to know what happens next, because today we're going to spoil the story and ending for Socket on the Sega Genesis. This is Game Over, The Early Years. This is the very simple story of Socket, a robot duck that travels through time in an attempt to catch an evil overlord known as the Time Dominator. The thing is that neither the game nor the instruction manual bothers to explain what the Time Dominator plans on doing or why Socket is the right mallard for the job. In fact, there's basically no story throughout the entire game, so don't expect a whole lot of twists and turns as we go through the seven time-related stages. The basic premise is that Socket uses his tail to recharge his energy after every time jump. His battery life will slowly drain as he explores the non-linear stages, so the object is to find the next charging station before he runs out of juice. We start out in the Emerald Forest, but quickly jump to Treasure Castle, the Olean Cavern, the Age of Antiquity, the Future, and straight to the Time Castle itself. Each of these time periods ends with a battle against the Time Dominator in different forms. We basically thwart the Overlord's plans and then follow him to the next time period by boarding a time-traveling spaceship. Like I said, it's not real clear what his end goal is supposed to be, but the first half of the Time Dominator's plan seems to be to send a robot army to cause havoc. But to what end? One thing is clear, the Time Dominator is on the run. We've kicked his ass from the Stone Age to the future, and now he's made his way back to his home base of operations. This is Socket's chance to not only finish the Time Dominator once and for all, but to finally see his true form. Actually, this is his true form. He's reduced to just being this little blob trying to escape through the pipes. Socket once again thwarts his plans, and this is what happens next. You know, for a game with almost no setup, I'd say that this is a surprisingly satisfying ending. It gives us a tiny bit of insight into where Socket came from and what he's doing when he's not traveling through time and fighting evil overlords. Granted, the ending is a little bleak since it suggests that our hero spends much of his time just in this small little tube. I mean, I suppose that makes sense, but I kind of hoped that he would go back to his family or relax on the robot beach. I guess I just wanted him to have a life outside of the adventure. 
Now, on a somewhat related note, I want to highlight something that I came across while reading the Socket reviews. This is the very first paragraph in the Die Hard Game Fan write-up, which may actually be the worst written review I've ever seen. So get this. Socket is a lot, that's not how you spell a lot, like Sonic. Dot, 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 dot. And that's good. Socket is also not like Sonic. Dot, 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 dot. And that's good, too, which is the wrong kind of two. Many will no doubt label this as a Sonic clone. Dot, 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 dot. Great! I love Sonic! Bring on all the similar titles you want. Man, I really love game fans' passion, but they really needed to hire a copy editor. Ugh, the whole paragraph is a mess, and I'm not even sure I followed the point. So, is it like Sonic or not? The truth is, this is a Sonic clone. In fact, it's easily the most blatant Sonic clone from that era. The level designs, the obstacles, and even the boss fights all feel like they were modeled off of Sega's incredibly popular mascot. Unfortunately, it pales in comparison to Sonic in almost every single way. Now, I say almost because I will argue until the day I die that Socket's ending is far more satisfying than what you get in Sonic. Look at this, he just runs to meet up with his animal friends, and the game ends. That's it. The whole thing is anticlimactic, and one of the only bad things about this otherwise incredible game. Socket, on the other hand, isn't that great of a platformer, but it definitely has a better ending. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Game Over, The Early Years. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new episodes every Monday. Now here's the question I have for you. What would you do if you were the Time Dominator? Look, this game doesn't give the bad guy much of a plan, so I'm curious what you would do if you could go to any time period and screw things up. Where would you go? What would you do? Let me know in the comments below. In other news, we're just a few days away from something truly special. I'm going to be taking GamePro Magazine's video game IQ test from 1992. This is an epic 100 question quiz from 27 years ago and the fun starts this Friday. If that sounds like something you might be into, then I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.